So if there was no scam, as the special court said yesterday, why were the 122 telecom licenses cancelled? Well, speaking exclusively to NDTV, the judge who cancelled the licenses says the issues before the CBI court and the Supreme Court were entirely different and that it was for the CBI court to decide on cor conspiracy and corruption charges. First, the 2G trial court snubbed any talk of a scam in the sale of Spectrum licenses in 2007 when A. Raja was the telecom minister. The Spectrum value. The ruling BJP countered the acquittals pointing to the Supreme Court's cancellation of all the 122 licenses in 2012. But today, Justice G. S. Singhvi, one of the two Supreme Court ex-judges who wrote that cancellation verdict, says they did not look at the issue of corruption and that it was for the CBI court to decide on conspiracy and corruption. However, Justice Singhvi questioned the no revenue loss theory by the CBI court, saying that after auction, government said it got 65,000 crore, now no revenue loss. However, the BJP, which won the 2014 national elections with the 2G alleged scams as one of its major planks, is sticking to its guns. investigation और इससे ये नहीं माना जाना चाहिए कि कोई इल्लीगलिटी नहीं थी वो तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट की वर्डिक्ट आ चुकी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये मान लिया कि ये फ्रॉड है गलत है ए राजा हैज टोल्ड एनडी टीवी ही डिफेंड्स हिज डिसीजन टू सेल एट अ फिक्स्ड रेट रादर देन ऑक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम समथिंग द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्ट्रक डाउन नो होलिस्टिक अप्रोच वाज डन बाय द इंस्टीट्यूशंस पार्लियामेंट सेज डोंट एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम स्टैट्यूटरी बॉडी सेज डोंट एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम Suddenly, CAG says action the spectrum. Zeros added with 176 by the CAG triggered a lot in the mind of the people. So they did not believe. But day one as a minister, since I took all decisions with the due consultation democratically in the ministry, I know the papers, I know the details. So I was confident from day one. However, the verdict has also brought scrutiny once again on the role of the PMO officials then, whom the verdict says had suppressed relevant information from the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. In New Delhi with A. Vadyanathan, Oenitam Oja for NDTV.